Good morning, everyone. Um, last night, I spent the night in the farm. Just, you know, after the two weeks of digging the well, so it's complete now. Two, week, two weeks of digging the well. And I've also installed um, electricity in the farm. Yeah, and so it was um, as always. It's a it's a refreshing experience to be out out here in the open on the field. So let me show you some of my um, some of the peppers that are already starting to produce, um, and let me give you some introductions. Okay, so this is the Apocalypse Scorpion. Now, it has a very scary looking um, pod. It's got a stinger. There it is. And it's, um, it's producing quite well. As you can see, there's plenty of shoots coming out. I got the seed of this pepper from um, from the States, uh, a company called Trade Winds. And they sell different types of seeds um, agricultural seeds and super hots is only one one um, department so they sell heirloom tomatoes they sell corn they sell sweet peppers vegetables and so i got this seed when i was still living abroad um i never really got the chance to plant them but now um i've initially started germinating the seed in december and as soon as the sprouts came out, um, I transferred it in hydroponic solution. So it spent the early parts of its life in hydroponic. And then when the farm got completed, I decided, and it was about, right about that tall when I transferred it, I decided um, I'll transfer it into full soil exposure now. And so, yeah, so this was still a flower when I, when I transferred it. And the plant, um, amazingly made it and it, you know, it's starting to produce now and it adjusted really well. So the other plant that I have that's, uh, uh has been producing is this little, little midget right here. Now this is a white bullet, um, white Peruvian bullet habanero, quite a mouthful. So there you see there's plenty of, there's plenty of pods in this little package here. Um, I have already picked a couple of them. I had some friends over and I asked my friends to taste them and they were blown away because that little pod packs so much. It's extremely spicy. Now I've heard from different social media forums that the term white Peruvian habanero or white bullet Peruvian habanero something to that effect is trademarked. And so, unless you get from a certain producer, you cannot really call it such. So, I don't know if this came from that producer because the label, uh, when I got this, was white Peruvian habanero. So, probably it came from that. Um, probably not. Now, there's an interesting story. Um, there's an interesting story with this little plant. Um, I I got this as a seedling 
from one of the guys that I was chatting to. And so it was already um, quite a mature seedling when I got it in, in October. Um, I planted it in a five gallon bucket and then um, a huge storm struck in December. And this plant especially got flooded and it died. All the leaves fell off. Um, the root was soaked and I didn't think that it was going to survive. Uh, but then I took a chance. I took out the root from the soil and I stuck it in hydroponic solution. Um, I wasn't really hopeful. But I thought, hey, what the heck, there's an extra hole in the hydro solution. What the heck? And so, yeah, I guess the plant was was so mature already that it started flowering first um, before producing leaves again. And because of that, I call this plant now the Lazarus plant because it's already dead and it came to life. But yeah as you can see it's very tiny it, it's midget i think the vegetative growth was stopped because it started producing um flowers and yeah so green as can be so here's another one um this interesting because i also got this as a seedling it was tiny before it was like six um, six leaves six true leaves when I got this and the label was Kang stars peach starkest I don't know um, I've, I've been watching Kang stars videos and I saw how he developed his peppers and I I, I, I think I know what a starkest looks like but um, that's rounded it does it doesn't have a bonnet shape that's a characteristic of a starkist it doesn't have a you know a UFO almost sort of shape but it's more rounded so it could be a starkist but it took on the um, the characteristics of its parent maybe uh, anyway I have posted a question on pepper lovers club just to help me out in identifying what pepper this is and it's also a heavy producer so you can see there are there are those little um, uh, little pods now let me see if I can get a good shot there so yeah um, here's the farm oh I've got another one right here that's uh, that has already produced amazingly here we are looks like a habanero but I don't know if it's a habanero also I, I couldn't identify this plant um, I, I have some suspicions but I have asked the help of the pepper community to help me in identifying or confirming what my suspicions are. So, yeah, so that's the chili plantation. It's, um, it's coming along now. It's growing as we speak. And a lot of these, a lot of these plants now have flowers in them. So hopefully in a few weeks time, I can update you with, um, you know, the growth of the buds. So that's the Carolina Reaper. And I can update you with the growth and production of the buds. Um, but yes, that's, that's the stage we are in. And as it is right now. Um, so there's the there's the farm hut that's where I spent the night last night on the hammock um, and that's my little nursery right there let me show you
so I got a few I got a few things going on here so these are the, the primos and these are the rare varieties uh, I hope you know some of them have already started coming out some of them are taking their sweet little time and I think I see something over there yeah and anyway that's a uh, that's where they're at and these are all the Carolina Reapers so some of them have come out already you probably remember me talking about these trays and yeah and so these are those are those are habaneros but for some reason they're struggling and I, I think it's because of the heat and it, it's just very hot these days so I've got the little bottle over there with um, so those are actually two bottles one has um, Epsom salt and the other one has calcium nitrate and I spray them uh, once a week with with that solution with those solutions um, and that's just that's just to help them along um, and it's very hot so you can see some of them some uh, especially the habaneros some of the habaneros have like wilted a bit but I think we can we can help them out yeah and then the, the reapers are all are all starting to show which makes me excited because then we can already start planning the plots where we're putting them so yeah um, strawberries are coming along too um, so we've got you know some of so this is my my little plant clinic also I got these seedlings from from a guy and so the seedlings that he gave me were all infested with white flies. So many of them I chopped off, pruned, um, just to remove all those white flies, uh, leaves that are infested. And then I burned those leaves. So yeah, you, you see there are still some. Um, I try as much as possible not to, to, to keep spraying because it doesn't really help. Um, and plants might get used to, you know, the, the chemicals. So what I did with these is I chopped off many of their leaves that are, were infested and I burned it. Um, so you see some of them have already started growing again. Um, and yeah, uh, so what, what else did I do with these? So some of them are like Sherwood Carbonero. Red habaneros, many of them are Sherwood cabin, uh, Carboneros. Uh, ghost peppers, I think these are, um, these are Thai pumpkins. So, I actually got um, a ripe pod from one of these guys here. But again, that's also wrongly labeled and that's, that's a big problem for me because the, the label was jalapeno, but then the pod that I picked, the ripe pod that I picked and I ate, wasn't really a jalapeno. It was more of, I don't know, maybe Thai pumpkin. So, yeah, wrong labels is a big problem. Um, yeah, and that's that's the field right now. There's my, there's my buddy, Abby, and he's... He's uh, watering. And there's the well. I still need to get a pump. So we can pump water up. And it's, uh, I think it's about 18 meters deep. Uh, pretty deep. But yeah. Okay. I'm going to head home. Take a shower. Because we've got guests coming. Um, and then I'll give you an update later when I upload this video. All right, that's me, Chingado Master, spending the night at the farm, saying good morning, everyone.